my sister, Kadeja. We kind of merged together as one to make the company Gotti Locks. When she passed, I knew she would want me to keep going. She was my number one. She was my number one. That was my baby. She was my world. I can't even come to terms of understanding why this is even happening to me. I feel like I'm making it. Tony and describing being a boss. Some people say a boss is driving a fancy car, or living in a nice house. I feel like a boss is if you don't have to report to anybody any day, you just get up in the morning, you make your agenda for yourself and you make it happen. I always wanted to do hair, but when I wanted to actually make it my career is probably when I was 20. And I dropped out of college, got a full-time job, and did cosmetology school and went forward from there. My sister, Kadeja, was still in high school at the time. After school, she would help me with my clients when I was getting off of work. So we kind of merged together as one to make the company Gotti Locks. When she passed, I knew she would want me to keep going forward with it. So we did this together. We're going to my sister's tree. We named it Kadeja's Tree because that is the last place she was on this earth. Her ex-boyfriend took my mother's car and made her get in the passenger seat. Don't know why, don't know when, but decided to drive 90 miles an hour on the wrong side of the street flipped the car on two wheels and slid 200 feet into a tree. My parents, this is my daddy. Him and my dad, my mom, they come and they um, water it every day. So it's been growing since 2013. They were coming this way, heading east on Greenleaf. He was driving on the west side street. They hit the curb, probably where this exercise equipment is. And it flipped on two wheels. And my sister was the passenger in the front seat and it slid all the way over to the tree. This is the impact of the tree. It never grew back took off the whole trunk, and this is where her body was, in the car. Now we're on our way to my house. We moved to the beautiful city of Gardena. I went to school in Gardena. I actually had a really good time in high school. I will say that it's probably one of the best times of my life. I am, or was, Captain Angel <laughs> for the year of 2005. Sarah High School, 14th in the nation. This is my um, volleyball, cheer, softball. Angel is a leader. She's creative. She's very, very profound in areas that most cheerleaders who are captain just kind of like want to blend in. Angel's like, this is what we're doing, you don't like it, deal with it. But Angel, fix it, get it together, and make sure their hair look nice too. They were always on point. Let's just say I'm one of her biggest fans. She just did my daughter's hair. She said to me, she says, Daddy, this is the best anyone has ever done my hair. I don't know where that come from. I guess that come from God because she loved doing hair. She came to me and she said, uh, Dad, I want to start my own business. I said, what you going to do? She said, I'm going to do hair. I said, well, okay. And that's where she started at that point. I think she might have got a little of it from her mom. Her mom used to do hair. Didn't come for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was a very good child. She was not a problem. Very seldom cried. Whatever she did, I put Michael Jackson on, that solved the problem. I bless others with my hands 
when they leave, they have a smile on their face. They're not sad, they're not upset. I'm blessing them with their wedding, their baby shower, a bridal shower, their birthday, maybe a first date, you know, just maybe a nice day. They could have been feeling bad, but because of what I can do with my hands to make them feel better, that helps me. I'm looking forward to the makeover because it would just be nice to be treated, nice to have someone make me feel better the way I make others feel better. Hi Angel, how are you today? Good. I'm Kira, I'm gonna be styling you today and I just wanna say congratulations on winning the contest of being a boss because you absolutely deserve it. So the products that I'm gonna to use today is African Pride, which are amazing products. So the first one that we're gonna to use today is the Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula Line, which is the Maximum Strengthening Moisturizing Lotion. The next product that we're gonna use is the Silky Smooth Edges, which is going to layer edges down. Of course, when we're finished with the style, it's gonna give you a nice polished Look. I'm AJ Crimson. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you as well. You know, this is all about making you feel like the ultimate boss. We're going to give you a really bold lip. Then we're also going to get into some skin. Bring out beautiful cheekbones like you have. You already have really beautiful lashes, but you know, we'll add a few individuals. Let's get into it. All right. Do you love it? I love it! You did this! Look at my face. Beautiful. You look bomb. You, you did that. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my god, thank you, Kiara. Thank you, AJ. Oh, for sure. Thank you. You look beautiful. You guys are wonderful. The advice I would give myself 10 years ago is always follow your first mind. Always go with your heart. Never be afraid. Don't be fearful. Don't rely on that every two week check. You know, if you want to do something with your life, do it. It's all in or nothing.